will take you to whichever time I choose. Find the Nidus. Bring it to me. You will only see it in reflection, shining brightly. To retrieve the Nidus, you must form a circle round it. Then you will link hands and think of my eyes. Think of my eyes. Concentrate. Pierre. You said. Said you wanted something to think about, citizen. Oh, sometimes, Pierre, but now we must work. Listen, citizen, this is serious. Can God invent a stone so heavy he can't lift it up? Citizen, well? Pierre, let us stop to rest and eat. Citizens, rest now. Rest. Pierre, please fetch the bread. No little ones to help you this time. I've seen to that. I've delayed them in a time vortex while I possess your mind. When they speak your name, you will not be able to hear them. And you will not be able to help them. So why don't we enjoy ourselves? You will not recognize me, will you, Rothko? Rothko! 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 Juliet, this bread is too hard. Then break it with a hammer or soak it in water. I hate wet bread. Exquisite creature. What are we doing in a cave, my dear? It's a church. To show their devotion to God, the people hewed it out of solid rock. Only now the people have abolished God and they use their mansions for factories. Are you hungry? I could only find bread made of potato and grain. Oh, really? Look at it, swimming little bits. Do not mock, fair one. There are citizens so desperate with hunger they eat grass. In Bordeaux, a woman was shot for adding cinders to flour. Do you like some wine? Thank you. 
Very excellent vinegar, my angel. What do you do here? Make gunpowder. Come and see. We would have used the saltpeter to preserve our meat, but since there's no meat... No meat? Eh bien, it is no better in Paris. In Mouton, they talk of tearing up the vines to grow grain. Are you really from Paris? Occasionally. You've been to the theatre? <laughs> My dear child. Oh, I've never, never been. Where? Oh, Nantes, Lyon, Marseille. Imagine, if you can, mud huts. Mud huts. Huts, mud, filth, poverty, suffering. And amidst all this degradation, imagine, if you can, a theatre. A magnificent portico of eight elegant Corinthian columns, and within a citizen are. Ah, all is gold and paintings and perfume and laughter and silks and glass, and it is a Sunday, therefore everyone is there. The take-ins, a full house, 120 louis d'or. <laughs> Here I spend 20 sous, if I can beg them, on two stale eggs. Shh, it's true. Quite so, mon vieux, but this theatre did cost 450,000 livres. Here's yours. For you? No. You know a lot. Too much. Can God invent a stone so heavy he can't lift it up? The revolution has abolished God, has it not? Ergo, there is no answer to no riddle. Go back to your soggy bread. <laughs> what did you see in the theatre? Tell me about it. I saw on stage. The magnificent Mademoiselle saint hubert in lavish extravaganzas, costing ooh, 500 livres a night. The revolution, the republic, the nation, they matter, not dancers. Dancers? She is an actress, boy. And to my way of thinking, why not spill a drop more ink to right the evils and less blood? As for dancing, would it not be better if the whole world danced? A revolution through joy for a change. Do you dance? I do twirl a heel on occasion. Uh, our children are taken for the militia, and this fool talks of the theatre, dancing. Look at his clothes. Hey. <laughs> Look at his hands. They're white like a duchess. You are an enemy of the revolution. Spy! Insolent puppy. I supported the revolution. The true revolution. And you still talk like a grand seigneur. Do you know the new anthem? The words? I know too much. Then sing it, patriot. Yes. yes. Sing it, or will your teeth fall out? They will not fall out, but you will sing it. <laughs> and softly, please, because it does rather get on my nerves. Since the true purpose of the revolution is that everyone should enjoy the best, the best, mark you, I shall turn this enchanting child into the lady she really yearns to be in her heart of hearts. Something's wrong, though. Rothko! It's us, Rothko! It's no good. He can't hear us. Well, he isn't Rothko. It is Belle. She knows we're here. Yes. She created this little prison for us. But why is Rothko being so friendly with her? Looks like she's done something to Rothko, too. Well, if it is Rothko, we've got to get to him. Well, let's go, then. Hang on. I think maybe Belle will put us here. If we go, it's where she wants us to go, right? But maybe she's just sort of delaying us. Well, there's no point staying around here. 
Why don't we just take a chance? Come on, let's go. OK, but don't expect it to lead us to Rothko or the Nidus. You are a spy! Uh, He's a spy, so he doesn't even dress like us. Bumpkin, if I wanted to play the spy, I would dress as you do. Then you're a thief. What was he doing over here? This is the property of the people, ours. We haven't killed nobles and priests for him to make himself rich. Ask him. He was not thieving, were you, citizen? I was sleeping, citizen. Dreaming not of this mad world, but mine. He says he's from Paris. A hundred galaxies beyond your puny time. Spy! Because he knows things. He's a spy, can't you see? He's a man without work like all of us here. Soft words. Theatres. He's got you, hasn't he? He's a spy. Because he knows things you know nothing about. You're jealous. Juliet, I tell you, he is a spy. Citizens! I am Julian of Paris, representative of the Committee of Public Safety. I am the new proconsul. Who is a spy? Citizen! If you know of a traitor and remain silent, the penalty is death. I think he was talking about me. Citizen. Look! Careful. Why a mirror? All the better to see it with. An Ida. It's as if she wants us to find it. Perhaps she's fed up, given in. Oh, I don't think so. Why not? We were very close last time, and she was really hurt. Shall I hang on to this? Yes. We'll just have to play things her way until we find out what's going on. We may as well keep moving. Tell him you're not a spy. I am not a spy. He's worked as hard as us from dawn till night. He would do, wouldn't he? To deceive you. God! Oh, don't worry about me, my dear. If you're not a spy, there's nothing to be afraid of. Afraid? You silly tortoise. I'll take care of these. Who are you? A citizen beyond time. Who are you? Are you a magician? Yes, a tired one. But you knew that. I thought the revolution had abolished magic and the belief in magic. You're either uncommon brave or you're... Bellor. Bellor? You talk in riddles. You know I'm weak, Bellor. Yet still you hound me. Why? You know without the Nidus I shall perish, drift like dust through the eons of time while you laugh. Why? Arrest him, he's mad. No! To what purpose, Bellor? To what purpose? He's a madman and a spy. Lock him up. He will be shot. And you, citizen, shall witness his execution. But I... You shall, citizen. Or be the next. Back to work, citizens. We must make powder for the guns of the revolution. Well done. Another traitor. Did you enjoy your little charade, Juliette? There are more to come. us after all, could you? I'm not a man of terror like them. Shall I say a prayer for you, citizen? Prayer? Old habits die hard, don't they, boy? A prayer. Very well, if you will, a silent one. Wouldn't want them to hear, would you? Come on, citizen, or do you want to stay with him? We could line you up beside him and shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> in the name of revolution. Might as well kill by numbers, they're so efficient. Truth of it is, they seek only to safeguard their positions through terror. I have seen it over and over and over again. I have seen too much. I am beginning to see with new eyes too, citizen. We all supported the revolution. Those who were oppressed rose up and overthrew the tyrants. But we're still kept down. Starved, imprisoned, murdered. I'm beginning to think, citizen, that it's time we had a revolution. It will fail like the rest. 
Come on. Who'd you say you were? Oh, Rothko, you must remember. We're here to get the Nidus back from Bello. But we've got stuck in this tunnel. Something's wrong. I'm sure it's Rothko, but he doesn't know us. Let's try and contact Rothko in the labyrinth. Blink hands. Go. We found you in this time and called you, but you don't know us. Bella, she has blocked my mind. You must concentrate. Concentrate. Then you will have the power to break her spell. Rothko! Rothko? Rothko? Of course I am Rothko! And the Nidus is close by, so is Bellor. Yes, we saw her. Why were you dancing with her? Sorcery! She made me see her as someone else. And to think I actually enjoyed it. Yes, we noticed. Yes, well, Can we... you help us get out of here? Oh, no trouble at all, me young cub. Just needed a little rest before I bid this place adieu. Right, let's go. Patience, patience. We must take care, children. These are dangerous times. Come. Mademoiselle, a moment. When do we march on Paris? Patience, Julia. Dantar is already out of the way. Robespierre will not be long following. That is when we strike. I shall install myself as emperor. The whole of France will be united by the terror. Anyone who opposes me shall be destroyed. You must use the power I've given you to carry out my will. Of course. Very soon now, an attempt will be made to take that power away from us. I have a regiment of soldiers loyal to me about the church. They're at your disposal whenever you say the word. is here, in this elegant pile of plunder, don't you know? Shall I try the mirror? Mirror? You can only see it in reflection. Excellent idea, my girl. No, nothing there. You don't say. I could have sworn. Somebody coming, quick!
Citizen, the prisoners escaped. How? The door was open. I securely locked it myself, but the door was open. Find him. Shoot him on sight. Your men will not be able to kill him. Even I can only deflect him at the moment. Now, one moment. This will not do. I'm sure the Nidus is back there somewhere. Come, we must return. Get back. Get those children out of here. You mustn't do it, boy. I'm doing it for front, citizen. You showed me the way. Get out of here, all of you. Clark, it could be the Nidus. Bello! Oh! Come on, John. Hurry! Stop! Stop in the name of the revolution! And only you three can get the Nidus away. So go back and get it, me young eagle, before that boy blows the place up. What about you? You think I can't settle with a few soldiers? Fools! Ninka poops! I'm sure it was the Nidus. Did you see it? No. Bella got in the way of the reflection. Well, let's get it. I'm afraid. Look, Helen, if it's the Nidus, we've got to get it. The gunpowder might go off before we get there. Better hurry up then, haven't we? Come on! Citizen, take your bucket and get out of here, right out of this so church, understand? Finish, no questions, you must go now. You ask, you we will all die if you do not go now. Go! There is gunpowder here, go off. Why? Go, leave, leave, leave now, leave. leave. Leave, you must go. Where are you going, citizen? We need more saltpeter, the mix is uneven. Is it now? The spy, did you know he escaped? What? No, I didn't know. And yet you were the last person with him. You will stay here until he is found. Fools, think of poops, I say. This wasn't here. Hurry up. We'll have to go back that way. It'd be too late. We've got no choice now, have we? Come on. Way. Are you sure? Yes, you're right. Quick. Children, this way. It's time to go off at 12 o'clock. We still have two minutes. Come on. Destroy me if you will, but let them go. What? Be kind to my enemies. <laughs> I deny you the night. 